What is up guys? This is Tyler from Typhoon Gaming and welcome back to another video. And this one is actually an unboxing video for, you've guessed it, the NES Classic Edition and, well, aka the NES Mini. And funny story how I got my hands on one. My girlfriend had gone to the store, well she went to Target, Best Buy, GameStop, not Walmart because they had already sold out um, on release day, which was Friday, November 11th. And she was not able to get her hands on one. She came close, but she didn't get one. Um, I was actually able to order one on Toys R Us online, but that order got canceled because they ran out of stock and they told everyone they allowed way too many orders and weren't able to fulfill most of them. So that got canceled, and then the uh, only option I had left was um, Amazon was selling them at 2 p.m. Pacific time, which is 4 p.m. my time, uh, central time. And I was refreshing the page on Amazon, and right at 4 p.m., it finally popped up. I hit order, and I think like 12 seconds after that page was uh working or whatever and you could order one like 12 seconds later they were out of stock again and my order actually went through i was waiting for a cancellation it did not happen um i got a shipping confirmation yesterday i think and already they it's here like they told me it was going to be here thursday and then they said it shipped it'll be here monday but now <laughs> it's sunday and i finally got it so We'll be opening this up for you guys today. The box is tiny, it really is. Um, I don't know, like, it, it looks bigger in pictures, but truthfully, this thing is small. And on the, on the back here, uh, you have like screenshots of the games and some of the cover art of the games. There are 30 games. It's gonna be a blast, so we'll go ahead and start opening it. All right, guys, first things first, this is a little size comparison. So I have a Wii console on the left side. Um, it's pretty much like the same size as the box, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, and then I have a Wii U Pro controller here, so you can just see how small that box really is. Here we have the box, and we will go ahead and open it up. Um, it looks like we have just like a tab here. It's actually pretty easy to open one-handed, surprisingly. And here we go. Hopefully I don't break this. So we get a instruction manual, awesome. Yeah, making progress. Okay, so there's the box. Woo, sweet. And here we go, it looks like we have, I'm not sure what's on the left side over here. Okay, so this will be the controller. This looks like the AC adapter to plug in the machine. And here's the console itself. So I'll get that unwrapped in just a second here. But honestly, this thing's kind of hard to uh, get out. Oh, okay, so this folds out. Gotcha. So we get a trusty, dusty HDMI cable. I'll probably use one that I already have, but... Uh, there we go. That's the AC adapter or USB. I don't know. We'll figure it out Let's see here. We got the awesome Retro controller And one thing I have been hearing about the controller is the cord is very short. I think it's four feet long um, So when I'm using this I might be putting the console up on my coffee table and, and then just using the uh, controller from where I sit but but anyway, here we will go ahead and open up the console. This thing is seriously tiny, like smaller than my Wii U Pro Controller. I'll, I'll show that comparison in just a second. But yeah, here we go. And I never had the NES. I had the Super Nintendo was my very first console. So, but I do know what an NES looks like. And here it is. That's the back with the inputs. And then that is the front. Here's a little bit of size comparison once again. <laughs> it's smaller than the Wii U Pro Controller, so yeah, awesome. 
And then the controller itself that it comes with is pretty much as wide as the console, so that just goes to show how tiny this thing actually is. But all right, guys, we got some other goodies here, but I just wanted to show this real quick. When I unraveled the instruction manual or whatever that it came with, you get this awesome retro Nintendo Entertainment System. Now you're playing with power uh, posters. So, and then on the reverse side of this would be all your setup stuff. So if you are not going to use those instructions or whatever after you set it up, you can definitely put this awesome poster in your room or whatever. So just keep that in mind as an added extra bonus. But anyways, so I was measuring these and the cool part is, so the AC adapter just uses regular USB here. And then the opposite end is actually a micro USB that you would see on most smartphones. So that being said, you would just plug in that micro USB into the back of your unit right there where it says DC in. Um, the nice part about that is this should work with any micro USB cord you have. So this cord that it comes with is five feet long, but if that's not long enough for, you know, for instance, if you wanted your unit to reach the wall or whatever and you need a 10 foot cord, you should just be able to use a generic USB to micro USB cord to make that happen. So that's good news. The HDMI cable I have not unraveled yet. It looks like it'd be about, I don't know, probably five or six feet. Uh, but most people have their own HDMI cables at this point that if you didn't want to use the one that came with the NES, then you could probably just use your own. Yeah, it looks about five or six feet, so we'll set that aside for now. <laughs> so I was thinking that the Nintendo uh, controller cord was 48 inches, but that's actually not the case. It's only 30 inches, so... This cord right here for the controller is literally two and a half feet is all. So unless I had this unit right here on my coffee table, I wouldn't be able to reach. There are adapters you can buy to make this cord longer. So I'll go ahead and throw the links to those in the description in case you're looking for a setup using an adapter. But anyways, this has the uh, controller inputs similar to what you would see at the bottom of a Wiimote. So yeah, and then you have the power and reset buttons on the front. I think I'm going to go ahead and try setting this up, and then I'll get back to you. All right, and here we have it. We finally got it set up. Um, and I'm kind of going like my whole YouTube route. If I, if I was going to use this uh, on YouTube... So I have the DC uh, in in the back, and then that is just going to this outlet here. And as you can see, like I have a thing plugged in in the bottom outlet, and this one plugs in to the top without a problem, uh, without interfering. So that's good news. Um, and then I have my actually have my HDMI from my Wii U um, attached to my Elgato HD60. So that kind of helps the HDMI be longer uh, than, uh, than the one that it comes with is. Uh, so that helps with some distance as well. I needed to back up my uh, coffee table a little bit. So if you did want to set this up in your house or whatever, just make sure you, you, know, you have some longer cables if you need it further away from the TV like I do. I am curious, though, if I can power this through the USB in my laptop, so I'm gonna give that a shot quick. So, let's go ahead and take just the USB from there, plug it into my laptop, and then we will give this thing a shot. Let's try powering it up. And, moment of truth. <laughs> oh man, we are getting set up, look at that. So. That's really good news. If you have a laptop or whatever that's closer than a wall outlet, you can actually power your NES Mini using that, so that's awesome. We'll go ahead and get this set up. We have English. Okay. And then we're pretty much just, you know, presented with the list of games right off the bat. So this is really cool. 
it will let you know underneath so two player or one player whether games are multiplayer or not so that's really cool you have some classics like the arcade classes like Galaga, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, all these awesome games. I'm especially looking forward to, well, Pac-Man, of course, The Legend of Zelda games, and then Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3. These are three of the games that I grew up on when I first started playing video games, so that's really awesome news. I'm looking forward to these a lot. I'll probably be posting footage of these games on my channel, so make sure you check back for those. But yeah, I'm just really excited that I finally got this set up, and having it be able to be powered via USB is even better, so. All right, guys, a couple uh, things I'll just mention really quick as well. Um, ignore the Christmas tree. My girlfriend's like the opposite of the Grinch. She loves the holidays, so. I know it's only November, but we just have to deal with it. Um, so the display option here on the top is awesome. Um, you can actually do like a CRT filter that will have like the lines that you were used to with your old uh, TV monitors. So if you were to change to that, then you would see that when you're playing the games. Um, and then you just have like the 4-3 aspect ratio or pixel perfect, which is like the you know, perfect squares and everything, like exactly how it was meant to be played back in the day. So those are really cool options. Um, and then I'll also mention really quick as well that you have, I don't know exactly how it works, but like two save slots per game. Um, so that's really cool that that's all just saved on this tiny system here. And you'll never lose your progress. So you can get as far as you want in your Mario games or whatever. and. Uh, save into one of the slots and then if someone else came along and wanted to play on their own then they could save in the second slot so really really cool features included on the, on this thing so if you don't have one of these yet or you haven't ordered one of these yet make sure you do that in these coming uh, weeks or whatever approaching Christmas Nintendo has promised that they will have more stock coming out soon so make sure you keep refreshing those browsers and checking back at your local stores to get your hands on one of these. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. If you have any questions about the console or sizing or anything else um, whatsoever, put those questions down below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. But anyways guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a like and comment below. But until next time... I'm out.